funny. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie. <laughs> oh, the cows look great at the ranch. <laughs> Back to the bridge. Hey, what's up, beautiful people? David here with some more Danganronpa 2. Goodbye Despair is the game I love playing right now. We got freaking Monokuma. Look at him, he's a working man. And now we're just gonna get right into it. Last time we went on two dates with Ibuki because she, she was the only person I was interested in when I wanted to see Sonia. She wasn't available, so we ended up getting a double dose. It was cool. Again, I don't think she's girlfriend material. She's definitely not Junko, but uh, again, we, 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 uh, during the conversations, it was just like, I don't know if the chemistry was there. The two instruments I was interested in, she was not a fan of, and so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how our friendship progresses from here. But Sonia, I got my sights up, uh, I got my eyes on her next. So, for free time. But the story is more important. Um, <laughs> David, I saw you grooving and moving and grooving to my theme there. Ah! Looked like you guys were arguing. So I wasn't sure when to actually show up. <laughs> that is not his voice. What am I doing? I got some peach tea with honey to cure my voice because I've been doing some crazy... craziness. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Uh... Why do you dress like that? <laughs> I like your little minimalistic expression. <laughs> oh, I didn't mention in my recent broadcast. It's my costume time for the fun time. <laughs> I love him. I love his little outfit. Oh, don't tell me you're going to. Correct. That's right. Since we're on a special tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course. Of course not. That's why I brought my partner. Oh no, Minomi. Uh, what is this? Thank you for waiting. Without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma's side splitting two man comedy show. Are you just gonna kill her again? <laughs> I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me how to improvise? I'm speechless. Mono TV. We're kicking it off. Um, I'm Monami. Monami, not Minomi. Monami. That makes it makes more sense. Oh, like Mini Me. <laughs> it makes more sense. Monami. Wait, am I? Okay, good. I wanted to make sure I was still recording, or I was recording. And together we are the Monokumas. M Monami, why are you like? She, like, sometimes acts like she's not involved, and then she, like, goes along with it anyway. I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind-reading abilities. Oh, no. You can read minds? Oh, no. As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm. Your favorite food. That was my question of the day two episodes ago. You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Yeah. Probably carrots, but what is he gonna say? That's right. Yeah. Cadavers. Cadavers. <laughs> Monokuma, you gotta I stop. Now then, Monami's up next. Come on, do a short skit or something. <laughs> what? There's no way I can do that. No worries, it's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy. No. So do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive or after you're already dead? Um, while you're still alive is fresher, but after you're dead is easier. Why would you ask such a cruel question? <laughs> they're, the fact that they're so different makes their banter kind of funny. If I'm gonna summon the comedy, then I'll need a lot of blood. <laughs> a comedy? So, I got a comedy once blood. 
Oh god. How charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood. She doesn't even have blood, she's a robot. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You're one to talk. You guys better be careful too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. Mm hmm She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. <laughs> what? Who's the underdog? I'm assuming I'm assuming the a teen manga is a shonen, right? So is she Vegeta? Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret. Oh no, not a secret. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories. Okay, I had a feeling. Oh good, this is good to know though, because that means all of them, not just me. So it's just like before. Say what? <laughs> you guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? I mean, you did the same thing. What if this is just like Junko and Mukuro just like, kind of like, doing a thing? Oh wait, no, but Byakuya has... Byakuya has his character development from the first game. So that would mean they're both... You know, ah, oh, damn. Well, that's because Monami stole your memories! Okay. I'm not- this is nothing I'm not used to. What are you saying all of a sudden? <laughs> well, it's nice to have this up front instead of wait, at the end. there's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. Uh -huh. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy! Well. What a shocker! Okay. Okay, so this is weird because this was the whole big reveal at the end of Trigger, so... Where do we go from here? I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss quads are so old hat nowadays. Facts. Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliche twist like that. Oh, don't be. Don't dick my girl in Ashima like that. We're sophomores. I just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Okay. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. You and me both, Monoke. Okay? Seriously, this is bad in so many ways. <laughs> no, not this again. I'm dealing with you. Oh gosh. Yeah, his backhand is far too powerful. Oh, so what's what's this going now? <laughs> okay, so that's this is good to know. Uh, Hinata wasn't the only one, and so I guess they're using the same methods, which shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Hey, what did he mean? Hey. How was it? Was it funny, or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. What, what are you saying just now? What were you saying just now? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean I, when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely completely stolen? Our school memories? Completely? Atacon, what is he saying? <laughs> There's no way. Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. It's because that's how you remembered it. All thanks to Minomi stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope Speak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible. Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's right! There's no way I have memory loss! You can't! Don't, don't, don't listen to what he says! <laughs> Wait, so now I'm confused. Did she do it or did she not? Because maybe he did it? I don't know. <laughs> let, let it preached! I won't believe. I won't believe. I refuse to believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories? That's a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools of us, right? 
Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? He <laughs> just flashes his shirt. His shirt he's not wearing anymore. The moment you arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. Ah, uh, how do you know that? <laughs> Why, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? Okay, so they've been here probably for a couple years as well. I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. <laughs> so a long time has passed since then? Impossible. There's no way. Lie. On the contrary, why is it impossible? That's... Whether or not it's impossible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Yeah. Eh? Hey, um... However, there is a catch. Maybe. Don't tell me the catch is kill someone. It's probably the, the catch. <laughs> Figured it out yet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's right. You guys have to kill each other. <laughs> That's my bargaining point. Motivation. Hawala. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, and you better start killing a penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Piss me off. Hey, stop running your mouth. Wah -wah. My, my, I'm so angry. I'm just providing you all a motive from the bottom of my big and generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards won't get any killing done. Trust me, this ain't my first rodeo. Okay, and, uh... I don't know if the meta-ness is also to describe that this takes place after the events of the first game, but the way Byakuya is, to have me leaning towards that direction now. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are naturally born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. Special bleeding service. That's why I'm giving you a move motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Okay. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory loss crap in the first place. Mm. But more than that, what you guys really don't believe in is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, um... You guys don't know each other, which yeah. means... None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among your... Oh my gosh, he's just dishing all the spoilers right now. Spoiler alert, Monokuma. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy was dragged to come to, or arranged to come to this island, I got it! That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. What? You're what saying all this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. Lame. For real, guys, how can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. Those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with him, anybody, but nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? <laughs> come on, make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. <laughs> yes, glad I don't need to do that laugh. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away. We all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. It consumed every one of us. Where was the agony? Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? You got it wrong! Ah, it's not me, by the way. I know it may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by staying silent. See, this is what Monokuma wants. He wants this. He wants this paranoia. That's enough. 
There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so put Okay, Biaki, I'm not so sure about that. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There is no reason in the first place to believe it. Hey. Oh, no, no. Monami, you would know. Huh? huh? Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um, I mean... Oh no, she's melting! It means she's sus! Everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past! Oh no, this ain't good. I mean, I understand. If the world is how it is um, in this world, in this uh, universe, Danganronpa, then it's good that they lost their memories so they could just live out a new life. Well, actually, no, it's bad because if they... It's bad that they lost their memories. Because if they had their memories, they would know why they're here to escape the world, so... Keep your eyes fixed upon the future! Let's do our very best! Unless she's, like, really trying to shelter them? I don't know what's up. Or maybe they all hate each other and she did that to make them like each other? That could be really fun. Ah, she ran away. How ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor, it's completely fictional. I can't deal with this bullshit dumbass- I was waiting for the curse. <laughs> you can't have a beat of dialogue without there being a curse. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all my school memories, everything. A traitor hidden among us. What really struck me was when Monokuma said, You guys don't know anything about each other. Ding dong, bing, bong. What it? What it? Hmm. Night time. I hate the idea that these are pre-recorded, because I'm pretty sure they're pre-recorded. I like the idea that he just wakes up every day and, you know, at night tells you every day with the same freaking drink. He seems like less of an alcoholic now because he probably just records the morning and the night at the same time and then plays it. Night. Ugh. Hey. <laughs> that was my mood too, ellipsis. It was exhausting already. Hey, what should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. She get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. Oh no. Oh, I like her little hoodie. Oh. I guess you're right. This she's terrified. Movie. I can tell. I can tell she's like terrified. Just so you all know, don't think about unnecessary things. This is a, your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet the restaurant. Yeah, all right. Um, no troubling. I think the saying goes, I'm frightened so stiff. <laughs> I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Oh, no. Stop. Why? I hate this man opening his mouth. It's not, it's not how the saying goes. But it's not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. The simping, I can't stand it. Oh gosh, well, her, she's our next date, so hang on. Oh, he said he realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? The hell, I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape this otherworldly reality. Hi, Kuma Theta! They say impossible is a word that's found in a fool's dictionary. Obviously, it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible possible! It's all over if you say that! You can truly call the person who doesn't know... Have... Call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! I can barely read them. You think I can make sense of them? You gotta love him. Ding dong bing bong! Good morning, everyone! Executive Committee has an announcement. Yes. Good morning, everyone. 
That's it. Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical okay. Let's show Okay, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be the same every time, isn't it? Alright. Slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and body felt heavy. Too. Or heavy, but it was an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. Ooh, yes. Any more monokumas in me in my thing? Okay. Yay! Okay, so lots of story this time, which is good because a lot of the last episode was free time. Hey, Nagito! Not everyone is as strong as Byakuya. I never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I'd just run away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live, but this is different. I'm sorry, being too negative. No, I understand, I'm the same as well. Well, now that we've talked, I feel assured again. Being alone is won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help you with each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this will make it, is what will make us cling to hope. Is what will make us cling. I mean, I can have hope without the ordeal, thank you very much. I'll be heading to the restaurant. Yeah, okay. Good. Well, I hope we made him feel a little better. Oh, so many people. So many people up in here. People that I haven't really spent much time with. I hope you're feeling better. Good morning. Yeah, morning. Ah. Why is she shocked? I was my first time greeting someone. I was greeting back. I'm so happy. Oh, she's kind of a sweetie. Could you do it one more time? Oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. What kind of life has she had? True. Man. Oh, she's a sweetie. I kind of like her. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah. Ham hands. <laughs> I saw that. I'm not going to look at the whole dialogue. Eating sweets in my room is already fine. Um, uh, eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming to a sh Oh my god, she's gonna say shut up and she's gonna cry. Hey. Don't speak to me without my permission. Oh, sorry. Uh-huh. She's listening to this ugly bitch is crying in the- Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. My morning makes you so sick. God, she sucks. Definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. What's up? Hey. Morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. Aww. Oh, what's with the sullen face? Well, I did not want to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. Had a lot in my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. And just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea, and invite some people to come chat with me. Oh! And just so you know, it's gonna be a girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Alright, cool. The girls even talk about it. I guess guys will never know. I know! I was a musical theater kid, and trust me, I heard lots of girl talk. It's, 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 it's what you would expect. Actually, if you're a dumb guy, it's not what you would expect. It's more just stuff. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. Alright, cool. Just saying. I'm just saying, guys. If our dicks exploded once a month every time, too, we would be talking about it with each other as well. In private. Hotel lobby! Alright, uh... Bum bum bum... Hey! <laughs> I, I like you! Good nom nom nomming! Oh my god. <laughs> what? Yes. I thought up of a greeting when we all... Oh, that's really cute! <laughs> All right, I like, I still like you, but I think we're just friends. Good nom nom nommy. <laughs> oh my god, she's so crazy. <laughs> still be limited to the silence. Oh, such a Debbie Downer. I don't talk to you very much. Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> what was the pause for? Well? In the middle of doing combo streams, I couldn't really reply. It's almost time. All right. Yep. She's playing the arcade, which I didn't. I didn't realize I could analyze this. We haven't seen this type of arcade game in ages. This is more like a hot spring inn than a five-star hotel. <laughs> I mean, it's it's nice enough, I would say. Heck, I'm down for a hot spring inn. 
Several people were already at the restaurant. Um, oh. Nobody was talking, not a single word. Oh, <laughs> they just sprang up like mushrooms. Is everyone here? Huh? Seems few. Hiko's not here yet. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. Okay, well, I know that hasn't happened then. Yeah, dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside early. <laughs> However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. Why does he have to act at, like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Boys are so stupid. Could he? Is he thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? By himself? Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey. Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? You don't understand what that means. He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presumed he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. Fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk amongst ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Sorry, my chair was not scooting. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Sure. I've decided to throw a party tonight. Oh, what? <laughs> Up a party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. Interesting. What the? Party till the sun comes up? This is your leader's so we're clear I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Man, he, he it's so interesting seeing him care. He's like definitely trying to like get these people to bond with each other in as quick as time as he can. I also have the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hmm. On the contrary, there's no better time than like this. That's what they needed in the first game, honestly. Still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait. Um, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Bum being bummed will just turn into paranoia, and that'll make us all strain. Strain all of our relations. You know what I mean. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we strengthen our friendships with one another. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you wanted to throw a party. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. Oh, he's a big zombie. It's in vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. Because if nothing happens, the traitor will have to out themselves. I think he has maybe not his exact memories from the first game, but he... His gut remembers, so if that makes any sense. Your gut would remember if it was life or death. It's decided we're having ourselves a party. But... He would never have said that in the first game. I like this, Byakuya. I'm not sure it needs to last all night. I thought that I would made that clear from the very beginning. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. Ah. Oh. I feel like I know a lot about you. I definitely know a lot about you already. I see. If you ever meet a person who's like her, I'm not gonna say give them a hug, but make them happy. Um, it takes a certain type of experience to create a person like that. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Let's party hard. Yeah, you'd be down. In that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Mm. He's being less gross, which is just going to make me more angry when he gets gross again. So I'm not saying he's cool yet, but I like that they haven't ham like hammered his perversion over my head. Perverseness? What do you know what I mean? Where's this party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, we need a location that's impervious to infer interference from outsiders. Impervious to interference? Where? A place even Monokuma can't enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Not the airport. Um, hmm. Either in the lobby, that's not enclosed enough. Um, Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we'd all be pressed up against each other. Teru Teru? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. Pressed up against ladies. Without sneaking aboard the woman-only train in drag. I feel so lucky. Oh, wow, you were already planning that? You're crazy. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. <laughs> I don't think so! 
<laughs> what? Is he actually endearing these people to him? Hey. How about that odd looking building, old looking building near the hotel? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. The one that Manami keeps blocking me from? If we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Well, it's, it's basically the only place that meets our need for an enclosed space, right? Indeed. However, Minomi has Monomi has figured but forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. I have heard your conversation. Heard it with all with my own very own ears. Um, I have good ears because I'm a rat. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Eh? Hmm. And what's the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Uh-oh. Ah, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, it is no concern. We can settle the issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us about something about it, right? <laughs> yes, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. You see, it's weird. I feel like he definitely reprogram like did he reprogram her at all? Is she like feeding information while still pretending to be sweet, or is she actually against him? Because it seems like she is, like, subservient to him, even though she, like, definitely doesn't like him. I don't know, it's weird. I will, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> is she gonna chaperone us? <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Wow! Understand? Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed up by what you see. This girl projects like no one's business. Kind words make me want to cry. <laughs> Jeez. So we're all good with the old building? And then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it up first? I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before, but I'm excited to finally experience it. Oh my gosh. No way. We, there's, oh, stop. Stop with the stupid... Okay. No way. We can dirty our dear princess's hands. Oh no. Yeah, I don't want to do- Oh gosh, he's the worst kind of person for this kind of person. Oh god. Jeez. Nobody's gonna do it. Hey. Why don't we decide by random drawing? Random drawing? Actually. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. Oh no. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of the cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment. Let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this job. All right. Well, no hard feelings. Watch them all have a red marking, so everyone has to clean. <laughs> one by one, everyone took. All was said and done. What? What? I'm left with the red mark? Ha! <laughs> Someone called the ultimate lucky student. You don't seem very lucky right now. That's actually really bad. Because if he's the ultimate lucky student, that means he's in there for a reason, which means he's going to see something very important. Or he'll avoid something very important. Well, I guess he can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You'd seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I would be a kick-ass stay-at-home dad. And if YouTube takes off, I might actually be a stay-at-home dad. Because <laughs> I can make YouTubes from the home. From the goodness of my home. And I'll handle the kicking. First, I need to prepare my ingredients. And then I'll start cooking at the old building. Is there a kitchen in there? There's no mistaking it. I, Teru Teru Hanamura, will go all out. I'll prepare you the world's tastiest dishes. For all of you. Then... And I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. Uh, what Byaki is doing is smart, and it will out anyone who doesn't show up as a potential antagonist or traitor. And then, if they're all there, the traitor will either do something to out them or sell themselves or something like that. I am interested in how this goes awry, because I don't think it'll go very clean. <gasps> There's time before the party! Okay, alright, let's do it. Yeah, let's talk. Where's Miss Sonia? Let's go say hi to Sonia. 
Show her what someone who doesn't put her on a pedestal is like. Uh, bum 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 bum. God, honestly, my, uh, yeah, I, I see that happen a lot. It's very easy to like, oh, she's, uh, oh, she's at her hut. She's at her place. Cool. Um, it happens all the times. Guys, you know you do this. I, I've done it, especially in the past, when I was a dumb, a dumb boy. Um, but yeah, the more you put someone on a pedestal, this the worst it is. It makes them uncomfortable. It makes you, uh, it, 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 it makes you do something bad to your brain that ends, results in like lowered self -esteem. It's just bad for everyone. Don't do that. Don't put people on, on pedals, pedestals. Because ultimately at the end of the day, you're just objectifying them. Because you don't put people on pedestals. We just don't. We put objects on pedestals. Ding dong! Who is it? All right, let's go. Sony, never mind. Oh my god, how did you, where did you get all this stuff from? And a damn chandelier? Gosh. Hey, Sonia. But let me guess. She still doesn't have pillows. <laughs> Nobody does. Sonia, never mind. Let's say hi. Nice. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I would have liked to try my hand at cleaning. Oh. Well? Why is a princess not allowed to clean? I do not understand at all. Oh. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yet. Not yet. I need to make sure I have a gift. <laughs> Actually, I just remembered I have the coconut milk, coconut drink thing. I feel like that would be a good first gift to give her. So let's do this. Let's hang out with Sonia. I right, Sonia to hang out. I like her plants. If that is the case, I shall do my own cleaning. Come, let's just work together. All right. Spend some time cleaning near the hotel with Sonia without anyone's permission. I don't need permission. Probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Why? <laughs> My boy, God, everyone has no self-esteem. If I was here, my sole purpose would be to get everyone thinking for themselves. Like, you know, not thinking for themselves, but you know, like, just not being stupid. <laughs> That'd be my job. <laughs> Make sure people aren't freaking stupid. All right, looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Uh, yeah, definitely. I wish you were talking more. All right, uh, let's give her coconut juice! It's considered refreshing by many, so let's do it. Present! A tribute for me. Tribute. It is rare to see for me to see such a common item, so I'm quite happy. Um, I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. Most tight. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resort setting. It might be true, but... Oh my. Did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? Of course I am worried, and I'm also angry. Jeez, this is not some something to joke about. Did she just say jeez? That's awesome! Who's joking? However... However... <laughs> that's good! Seeing her, like, speak a little more casually is great. However, what happens next depends on us. As long as we are, do not kill anyone, this will all be fine. It's the right attitude, but... Besides, I've come to learn about your country. I would understand if this were my homeland, but in this case, this land is foreign to me. Hmm. Well? I do not intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed as easily either. Oh, okay. The way she sa said that sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, so would this be okay in your country? <laughs> Let us forget about killings and cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. Huh. Sonia, kinda sus. If you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall do my best to think of something too. Yeah, you're right. I feel really pos I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. Hmm, such an honor. Raise your head. There's, there's no need to worry. She's saying sounds odd, but it certainly looks the part. She certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. <laughs> that reminds me, what is the name of your country? Novoselic. Uh, Novoselic, yes. It was the Novoselic. Novoselic or Novoselic, whatever it is. Kingdom, right? <laughs> sounds as though you finally remember. It's not a country I've ever heard of. Except the time I heard of it, so I could recall it. Yes, that is understandable. It is often overlooked by cartographers. 
<laughs> so it, it's there, guys. In our world, it's there. Cartographers just don't care about it. Um, Anavasla Kingdom is a really, an extremely small country, governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our, econo our economy is thriving, so we're not in dire straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom. Wait, this is actually really fascinating. And it's people from neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people have complete trust towards the royal family. Very fascinating. Well? And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. <laughs> Does it sound like a kingdom? Hmm. You mean you live in a castle? Yes. Of course! The royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Damn! But maybe old and small, the castle is a truly wonderful and historic building. Of course! Of course it is easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth. And our barracks are fully equipped as well. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> so castles really do have those. Um. So is it okay if I ask you something as well? Please! Who did you heart... Who did you have your heart set on initially and who do you intend to switch to later? What? <laughs> this situation is similar to the story of seven men and women. I believe it is a standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. <sighs> Princess Nevermind here just calling me out. <laughs> she, I literally was set on Ibuki and now I'm here and she just called me out on it. Damn, Sonia. What are you talking about? I have no idea. It's Japan's legendary drama. Well? It starts off really upbeat and then it gets really serious. I would never, never expected that to happen. <laughs> I was all like, Seriously, what's going to happen? I cannot take my eyes off the screen. Uh, Momoko's feelings at the time were... My goodness, so intense. I continued to listen to S Sonia talk extensively about Japanese dramas. She knew more about my culture than I do. Uh, at least now, I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. Which, which would it explain it. Let's be real. Every white person who goes to Japan... Or, I guess I should say every American, because I will fall into this group. <laughs> every, you know, non-Japanese person who goes to Japan probably has some interest in their culture. For most people, it's probably a geeky interest, like video games, like manga, like anime, like something like that. But I think uh, if you watch the channel Abroad in Japan, that guy was really into, like, uh, samurai movies and stuff like that. So... It's cool. It's fascinating. But, I mean, it makes sense, too. Like, you wouldn't just go to a country just because. You would have an interest in it. And, uh, I like my pop culture. <laughs> After politely excusing myself from a long conversation, I left the area. Should we have another long conversation with Sonia? Alright, still some time less left. Okay. Well, let's see who's around see Ibuki again. We can see Sonya again. Let's see who's available. Um, I don't know if- oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I didn't realize I could do this! <laughs> this is seriously funny! <laughs> oh, hey, Oi! <laughs> oh, the cows look great at the ranch! <sighs> Back to the bridge! Doing laughs! <laughs> this is so funny! I never realized I could do this! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm a man on a mission. Alright. Uh, should we see Ibuki? Let's see what she's got to talk about. I kind of on a, I kinda wanted to just spend time at the beach anyway. I don't know if I have gifts. Uh, let's visit the mono machine. Yeah. Yashin. Mono mono Yashin. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I only need one coin to get like so many gifts. Oh no, I didn't get any! Damn it, I got nothing! What even was that? Oh, I made a mistake wasting all that money and then giving it to the damn pet. I realize there are a lot of gifts that I haven't seen, like Japanese teacup. Fancy teacup made from royal wood. That actually sounds like a really good Sonya gift. 
Despite its toxic appearance, the street bears a sweetness that will take you to heaven. Very interesting. I don't know. As much as I like the beach, I don't know if I want to hang out with Ibuki again. Because I know we, like, started a bond thing going on. Maybe I'll see... Do I want to see someone different? Honestly, I kind of want to see Sony again. <laughs> Guys, I kind of want to see Sony again. Oh, look at her. She looks so cute. Um, uh, this island is full of mysteries. Yeah. Maybe a tower that reaches heavens or strong dude sealed up in an electric jar. <laughs> Why? Is that a reference? Um. Eh. I don't know. I, I like Sonya. <laughs> Dancing is always involved at parties. If it pleases you, would you like to practice with me? Dancing with Sonya? Heck yeah! <laughs> I'm even wearing my dance shirt! <laughs> A dance jacket. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I would happily, and I shall let you lead. This is a gentleman's duty, is it not? All right. Spent time today learning about ballroom dancing, and by the time I was finished, Sonia was leading me. Yay! Oh, that's so cool. I always wanted to learn um, ballroom salsa partner dances like that. For those of you who don't know, I actually do uh, practice ballet from time to time. Uh, I'm only one year in. I haven't been doing it since I was a kid or anything, but I enjoy ballet. Um, I started doing it because it would help my fencing and martial arts. Just good body coordination and conditioning. Question of the day, do any of you guys dance? Have any dance training, dance experience? Did you do it when you were a kid? I know a lot of kids end up doing ballet, point, jazz, tap, any sort of thing like that. Or have you done a uh, ballroom or salsa? I'm curious, actually. Um, boom. Probably don't deserve it, but Sony looks like. Can you stop saying I don't deserve it? Yes, let's give her a present. Presente. I'm gonna give her that teacup because it actually it's Japanese and uh, she likes Japan. Make her fake their height. I feel like that's good for the short girl. Who I don't like. Damn it! I wish I had the damn jewelry from Royal Wood. That seems like her. Let's do it. Present. Open the treasure box and surprise! <laughs> May I really have this? <laughs> you truly account you are truly kind. By the by the way, you're really good with words. Of course. Of course, I've done much studying after all. You speak really fluently. Yes. Uh yes, I do not know how many times I've seen I will arrest your eyes. When I arrived in Japan, the first thing I did was run across the Spain Casa. Yeah, I was gonna say. It, it doesn't really mean much to English, it, though she does speak very properly in, in terms of English. However, it's nice to like kind of see that the dialogue does indicate that she is speaking Japanese, like she's from a European country and learning Japanese, and as someone who's learning Japanese right now, it is hard! Ugh, I see, I don't really understand though. Um, in my opinion, I believe the best job is where. One's aimed at women between the ages of 20 to 34, just before Jap Japan's ec ec economic bubble burst. Their trendiness, energy, and quality entertainment was truly at its zenith during this period. I like how serious she is about it. Alright, um, what? I can't keep up with what she's saying at all. What the heck does she mean by bubble? An economic bubble? Gosh, I should not be stuck in this man's head. I'm a freaking econ minor. I studied all this crap. I live for demographic charts! Like all entertainment, Jap Japanese dramas were heavily referenced their native culture. Because of this, slang expressions were often used, and there are some things foreigners may not understand. Uh. Hajime, if you're willing, would you train me? Uh, oh. Train? Of course, I can teach you some things I understand, but... <laughs> for example, when lovers go on a ski trip, they always end up trapped by a blizzard, right? <laughs> In that situation, what would you call the ritual where they warm themselves under a blanket while naked? Oh, um, I think I've actually heard the name for this before. It's, um, it's more like a cliche. Yeah, it is. Yes, sir, something in known as my country is Makango. Hmm, interesting. Makango. Those aren't the consonant sounds I would have expected to hear from a country like hers. Um. It's a tradition in my country. According to tradition, unless I, sh I should have been giving her more of like a Swedish accent. 
Lovers cannot be... Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna try. I could also give her like a Lovers cannot be come one until they show each other the goals they've grown. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of accent to give her. I'll just stick with the quasi-British one. It is too embarrassing, so please do not make me say it. I'm giving her like a just a... I think I'm just giving her like a hoity-toity American accent, honestly. Huh? I cannot say. You will get a nosebleed. <laughs> is it really that embarrassing? It seems the Navasala Kingdom is filled with more mysteries than I thought. Wait, I want to read that dialogue one more time. What is a Makango anyway? <laughs> they show each other the Makangos they have grown. It's just too embarrassing, so please don't make me say it. You will get a nosebleed. Okay, lovers cannot become one until they show each other the Makangos they have grown. Okay, so this is kind of, this kind of honestly, I'm getting like Papu fruit from Kingdom Hearts vibes. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, I guess uh, once I find out what a Makango is, we gotta show Sonia our Makango. <laughs> I tell you, after having an awkward conversation, Sonia returned to my room. I gotta find out what a Makango is. And I gotta be careful who I show it to. Ding dong, bing bong. All right, is it nighttime? It means it's party time. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean chill. Now then. Oh, that'd be such a cool touch if you just heard like wave sounds. You know, because I don't think it'd get too intrusive. But if like on the island, you just hear wave sounds all the time. I wonder if you do on the beach. Uh, my volume on my TV is not. It's like a little low, just so that it doesn't echo too hard off the mic. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. <laughs> all right, all right, Hajime, with the sass. <laughs> Time to go to the old building by the hotel. Uh, see what's there. Hotel site. Oh, hey, what's up? Are you mad that I haven't hung out with you at all today? <laughs> Hey, so you're here for the party? Well, uh, why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> doing a little exercise so I can do all the yummy food we're gonna eat. Excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking. Especially since he's the ultimate cook. Alright, great. That's actually smart. I actually love working out before a big meal. These two butterflies, I haven't said much about them, but I love them. I just love that they're here. It's such a nice little touch to the game. Alright, Pekko! I live for you here if you could go know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Boy, you better come! <laughs> it's about time for the party, I'm really excited. Oh, no, 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 I missed the dialogue. Wait, shoot. I have to. Um, I'll do my best to not be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Oh, man, dude. Ah, oh, gosh. Yes. Those of you who don't know, people who are like this, they're the kinds of people who, like, uh, if you, like, go up to them to, like, high-five them really enthusiastically and they flinch, um, or if they're worried that they're always a bother, or it indicates that they lived a life where they were bothered to someone, and it's possible they may have been abused in their childhood. So I have a strong feeling this person may be of that type of personality. Look at her face, gosh. I just want to give this girl a hug, honestly. Um, and the fact that, she, and given her chosen profession, the kind of person who wants to mend others. She may be, um, you know, I don't know. It's just a uh, very interesting, very nurturing type of person. Um, she may very well know what pain is like. The bandages are very interesting, actually. I'm sure if I spent time with her, I'd find out more about those bandages. Um... Oh, right, 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 I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm supposed to go to the abandoned building. I'm, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Let's go. 
Oh, building. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it's big. Definitely looks worse for wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Is he gonna pat me down? Did you? Ah, oh, he is! I'm the one hosting the party. It's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. You know the Yakuza guy is gonna have a gun. You know freaking Psycho Girl will probably have a knife. Listen. If anything, for self protection, do not allow even one person to become a victim. Alright. Pyaka went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. Unless this is his ploy to murder everyone. <laughs> Can you imagine? I see. Appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. That's fine. Alright, you're. Yeah, okay. There was a strange item near where Biakia was standing. Metal cases? Duralumin, actually. I found them at the supermarket. Store any dangerous items I find during body checks. Okay, so if he finds a gun on the Yakuza guy, he, it has to go in there. The other one is for, well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. It's probably a medikit? Hmm. Gather the dining hall. The others are already here. Gather yeah, at the dining hall. Go there and wait. All right. Guess that's the end of our talk, but so cautious. Hmm. I mean, I, I appreciate it. Unless he's planning something. Which I'm open to the idea of, but I like to believe he's genuine. Oh, bathroom? I need to go now. Hmm. I guess it's time to go to the... Ooh! Whoa, this place is big! Rose. No, I didn't want to do this yet! Oh man, I meant to talk to the guy. Whoa! This looks great! Ah, Hajime, how'd you like it? What do you mean? Yeah, decorate, de uh, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. You I know, And you like this? You've already contributed more than Makoto ever did. Yep. <laughs> Until, you know, the end, but... Yep, I bought it from the supermarket. Sure seems to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. A lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. Took me a day to clean the dining hall just because of that. No way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that's cool. Let me guess, what do you have to say? Everyone's a loser, huh? Gross. Creep Yaka rubbed some pan hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. It's not what it is. He did the same thing to guys, too. I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisky me. Uh, I'm pretty in demand, you know. Uh, this whole place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all the trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. So you check out the floor below boards. Maybe the wood shrank because of the deterioration? None of these openings seem dangerous to you? Aww. Hmm. Carpet spread in a... Okay. Hey. Might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Haha, <laughs> yeah. It's true. It is true. Gamer girl, what's up? I'm worried about Monokuma showing. <laughs> That's a good thing to be worried about. He finds out we're having a party. There's no way he'll leave us alone. We gotta do something about it. He already knows. He's already heard us talk about it. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. She does look kind of cute in her little hoodie. But she just seems so, like, spaced out. Um... Oh, yeah, we got the whole gang. Hey, what up? Oh my god, she's ready for food. Yep. <laughs> uh, man, that was so uncomfortable. I'm getting groped so thoroughly by a man. That was my worst nightmare. Sorry, I'm funny in these voices. How annoying. Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Seriously, how friggin' annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. I guess you could say he threw a wrench in your plane. <laughs> yeah, okay, you put it in the case. Even though that man is a lowly even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. What? Table! A lot of fancy looking party dishes on the tables up front. Yeah. Was that it? Is this a party? What else is there? 
Oh? What's this? Oh! Okay. Uh, will the dishes be placed here too? It's Monokuma. I didn't even look at that. Iron plates? Saw some iron looking plates in the hallway. Why are they bolted? This is very similar to Hope Speak. Hmm. Seen a lies mist. The iron plate may be bolted. It's bolted over what's known as a window. Let me tell you this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why would that be the case? Hmm. Sandy. It appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hmm, why are the iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lives grasp, gasp their first breath. And countless more go the way of all flesh. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, it does. Oh, ring. We suddenly we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist ring through at the dining hall. I made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Oh, he said it. Everyone's here. Tortero is in the kitchen, and it appears Fuhiko did not come. I apologize. I did inform of the party, Jeez. but... I don't think you need to apologize, Pecco. It's his fault for not coming. Explicitly stated the attendance was mandatory, but... It's fine if just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm hmm what? More importantly, mm hmm Come on. Hey, is that... What is that? An intense expression spread across Byaku's face as he... Looked at the table with the various food dishes. Dangerous. Poison? Oh. <laughs> hey, <what are> you <laughs> That's great. This gif. This gif is a mood. You're all the food. Oh, bad. come on. You would do the same thing. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't care what you say. You're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. What's going on? Looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? <sighs> oh, is he literally doing this so he can get rid of the skewers? <laughs> this is so dumb. It's an iron skewer. Oh my god. Right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Hello there. Hey, it looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the, uh? Oh. Some messy eater ruined my arrangement. Who made this dish? Um. That'd be me, but are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous no, items. No, 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 no. It's Churrasco. It's a South American meal where you can stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. Mm -hmm. Felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> iron skewers are a problem. Why? Oh man, that's how you're acting. Then there just might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Come with me, Hajime. Come with me. I need your help. Oh great. Oh great. So if somebody doesn't get skewered, we're gonna confiscate them. Uh, we're gonna confiscate all the skewers so that someone does not get skewered. So I think uh, that'll be exciting for the next episode. Of course. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. As always, do subscribe. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Um, Subscribe if you, hold on, sorry. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't, smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one because this party is about to take a turn. I don't know what, what kind of turn, I don't know, but I feel like it's gonna, something's gonna happen. This is Deva, peace out.